This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this project file, as well as the logo intro sound from the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it a modern logo intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second, and my duration is 10 seconds longer. Hit OK. And let's move to the first step. Create a new solid layer, and call it the background. Click on this color box, and change its color to this dark blue color. Of course, you are free to use your own color. Hit OK, and then create a new solid layer once again. This time I'm calling it noise. Now change the color to a brighter one, I'm using this light gray color for it. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC star burst effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the scatter value to 1000, and speed value to 5. Also change the size value to 50, and this is how it looks now. One thing you may notice, this is giving a star trip look, instead of the noise. So let's fix it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the posterize time. Place it right below the CC star burst, and let's adjust the frame rate of it. I am keeping the frame rate value of 8. It means this noise effect will be generated at only 8 frames per second. You can play with the size value, if you think the particles look a little bigger. Cool. Let's add our text now. Go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing tool by pressing Ctrl, or Command plus Enter on your keyboard, and then align your text into the center. Please note, I am using this Montserrat alternative font, with the bold font style. Also, my text size is 160 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Now open this text layer. Right here we have this animate button. Click on it, and choose the position. It has added this animator 1 option. Make sure you are at the first frame position, and then change the Y position value to a higher number. I am using the value of 300 pixels. Now open range selector, and here we have this offset option. We will use it to animate our text. Simply go to the first frame, and then add a keyframe on the offset. Also, change the value to negative 100%. Then go to around 1 second position, and change the offset value to 100 pixels. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not that attractive. Let's see how can we make it smooth. Open advanced option, and change the shape to ramp up. And now it is looking much better. Let's change the ease high value to 50%, and the ease low value to 25%. It has made the animation a bit smoother. Cool. Now select this animator 1 option, and make a duplicate of it by pressing the Ctrl, or Command plus D on your keyboard. Then open this animator 2 option, and then the range selector. Here select these offset keyframes, and drag them a few frames right a little, so that they start at a different time. Now change the position value to negative 150 pixels, and this is how the text looks now. In case this whole animating text step was confusing for you, 
just let me know in the comments, I will make a detailed and separate video on it. Let's change the position value to minus 50, and see if you like it. Looks better. Let's open this advance option, and change the ease low value to 50%. And it has made our text smoother. Let's add one more animator value to this text. Scroll to the top, and again click on the animate, this time select the scale. Then go to the 15 frames position, and add a keyframe on the scale. Then go to the first frame position, and change the scale value to 0%. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's grab these scale keyframes, and place them to the right a little, so that they start after a few frames. And this is looking much better. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. And this is how our text looks now. Cool. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Let's move to the next step. Minimize the monster text layer, and then make a duplicate of it by pressing the Ctrl or Command plus D on your keyboard. Select the bottom layer, and call it a monster stroke. Then select the monster layer, and drag it a few frames to the right. Again select the monster's stroke layer, and now we are going to make some changes to this text layer. In this character window, you will find this color option. Simply click on this no fill color option, and it will remove all the colors from your text. Then click on the stroke color, and it will add the stroke around your text. Let's change the color to white, and now our text has a white stroke. Like this video, if you have never used this feature before, dislike it if you already have. Now go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the echo effect. Place it onto the monster stroke layer, and change the number of echoes value to 10, and the decay value to 0.7. And this is how it looks now. I think the placement should be reversed. So I am placing the monster stroke layer to the right, and the monster layer at the beginning. And this is how it looks now. Looking much better. Let's add some glitches to it. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it glitch. Then go to around 10 frames forward, Select this glitch layer, and press Ctrl, or Command Shift D on your keyboard, to split this layer into two parts. Select the top part, and delete it. Now grab this glitch layer, and place it around here. Then again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the invert effect. Place it onto the glitch layer, and it will invert all the colors of our design. Because the length of this adjustment layer is only a few frames, so the invert effect will be visible only for a few frames. Cool. Now we will use this same technique to create more glitches on our text layer. So select this layer once again, and make a duplicate of it. Place it around here, then go to the effect controls tab, and delete the invert from it. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC hacks tile. Place it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, check this lock center tile, and then change the radius value to a higher number. I am keeping a radius value of 140. Let's again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the transform. Place it right above the CC hacks style, and then change the scale value to a lower number. I am using a value of 45. It has made the text smaller, but also created this weird design. So let's fix it. 
Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC composite. Place it right above the hack style effect, and it will fill all the layers with our text. Let's change the radius value to 180, so that we can see the text a little bit clearer. Because this is going to be a glitch, so we are going with this look. Cool. Let's place these adjustment layers a little right, so that we can see the text animation clearly. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's make more duplicates of it. Again go to the effect controls tab, and then delete the hex style effect from it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC Tyler effect. Apply it to the layer, and change the scale value to around 20%. And it will create this look. Check the animation once again, and see if you like it. You are free to add any effects or presets you want. I'm just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Let's make one more duplicate, and place it around here. Now for this layer, I'm going to delete all the effects from it. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the VR digital glitch. Place it onto the glitch layer, and then open this distortion. If you want you can increase the color distortion value, or you can go with the zero, to remove the RGB split from this layer. I am keeping this value of 50. Let's change the horizontal field of view value to 120 degrees, and the vertical field value to 100. Let's make one more duplicate, and place it a few frames forward. This time I am making its length a little bigger. Here in the effect controls tab, change the frame layout value to stereoscopic, and color distortion value to zero. So that it will remove this RGB split color from it. Also, I am increasing the noise strength to 100, and the noise quality to 100. You can check this color noise option for getting a different look. Now for the last glitch, make one more duplicate of this glitch layer. Place it around here, and then from the effect controls tab, change the noise strength and opacity to zero. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. So this is it for today, thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.